check the website out if you have preferences of me focusing on a specific tool do let me know and some of them needs to be optimized for mobile I have some stuff on imaging we'll be touching on this brain 3d and it's actually working you know the volumetric data is loading for some time is it loading at all uh yeah how many resources 200 megabytes just in that tab alone and still loading 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 it finished in a whopping 52 seconds it was loading the uh, volumetric data um uh, yeah that's not ideal is it that might be a bit of a problem there i mean the tool is already live you can uh, check it out yourself probably won't be publishing the link because it will be overloading my server the data is in a static folder and so we have a json file for the volumetric data and then we have the images 100 slices in each uh, direction so sagittal coronal and the uh, axial and then my cpu come down a bit and then starting uh, throttling again and that's not good yeah i don't quite get why is it not in a static folder because it uh, matters uh, for the cdn for the content delivery network for the actual data because i guess images can be cached yeah i'm having an issue of the uh, cpu and all the fans are being just in front of me and they're probably going into the microphone when um, when the field uh, the noise suppression is off yep there will be a lot of noise um, and if we stop this for a sec no there's still a lot of noise no it's like 20 dp or so less yeah this will be a heavy tool i'm thinking yeah we need to minimize it somehow and now it's actually loading much quicker so it's been in the memory for the browser and I'll get about minus 35 dB noise when the fans are on. When you turn it off, does it go down? Yeah, about minus uh, 50 or so. So about 20 dB coming from the from essentially my server is in front of me so yes I can suppress the noise now it should go much quieter yes when I'm not talking I'm going all the way minus 60 so essentially no noise whatsoever which is good but the, the problem with this is it's not perfect when you're actually talking the noise will be still audible that's mm, yeah need to sort it out we are generating the metadata ourselves so we have this pre-processing file a uh, python script yeah we're using this um, ah yeah i need to mention the source and another file that's just doing inspection inspection of the nifty file uh, can we run run that quickly yeah we get all this weird stuff from it okay this is the kind of stuff uh gpt should be able to pass and tell you what it is maybe we have this info file that tells us what the structure of the project is but we can yeah definitely get rid of that uh, copy we need to update the file and folder structure see if um, it should be a job for github copilot we need the works yeah workspace handle 
Let's see if it can do it. I don't know if it's only looking at files that are currently open or all the files in the folder. It's searching references, pre-process copy of the text. No, we don't have the data copy anymore. Well, I mean, we can delete it manually, but we want the robot to actually know what are, you know, we need like a text version. This is not the best way of doing it, is it? And we should be getting it from uh, the terminal. And uh, we want to list uh, all the um, files and subfolders in uh, text format. Tree command to list all the files and subfolders. This is in terminal, obviously. Can exclude PNG. The project structure. 10 directories, 19 files. Okay, JS. Yeah, we don't actually need these libraries. Yeah, not including any PNG files. Okay, so we have this project structure. Yes, we have this structure, right? It's HTML. Should have a prompt a file as well. So we are working with this nifty file that is only 30 megabytes. So if it's 30 megabytes, how is it that when the page is loading, it's like 300 a megabytes or so? So we are loading this file that is only 30 megabyte large or small then the page loads about 300 500 megabytes it's crazy uh, in the image provided you can see how the page looks like the this tab for the browser is a whopping 523 megabytes the original nifty file is only is only 31 megabytes so what can we do there's also another question is how the slices are being loaded it seemed not to be loading more than 100 slices even though there should be more if you can look at the file and folder structure there are 253 PNG files in coronal folder and similar amount in sagittal and the axial folders. Can we make sure it's loading them all, not just the first 100? How do we make sure all this is being loaded in the CDN? So how do we make sure it's being cached? by the content delivery network let's try a single shot single shot prompt it's not compressed uh, you yeah, know we're using this subject zero session one t one w and it's not compressed so is it possible to serve the original nifty file without uh, pre-processing it in python I'm thinking starting another web application and compare the performance of the two. By the way, should be taking the nifty uncompressed or compressed file. And uh, how many resources does it require by the user to have for it to actually run properly. And uh, also touch on if it's possible to actually store the nifty file in the CDN. Yeah, because currently we have this thing that is pre-processing everything on the server and then serving a json file for this uh, volumetric data and the images if you haven't checked the site yet please go do so yeah so as you can see once it uh, actually loading the whole thing is not requesting anymore because it's being stored in the browser Ooh. 1.5 gigabyte uh, stored in the browser. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's not cool. And then it will forget about it. Yeah, so you saw it's like uh, it started uh, sending more GET requests. Yeah, so if you leave it, uh, you don't touch it for like 10 seconds or so. It then starts uh, loading them from 
the server again, so that's not ideal. Yeah, not anymore, not yet, but yeah, this one is being loaded already. Yeah, note that the JSON file for the volumetric data is only just under 100 megabytes, but the original nifty file is only 30 megabytes. And now with the images and everything, I have 1.5 gigabytes uh, loaded in the memory of the browser. Uh, so that's not cool. And yeah, it's using the GPU. And yeah, now it's loading from the server again. I don't know why. Uh, why does that happen? And I had some advice there on changing the caching level. Now it's actually suggesting keeping it as is. Yeah, but when we run it locally, it's actually nothing to do with the CDN. Yeah, we have some advice on... We'll potentially have uh, another uh, application, so we'll have the, the Brain 3D, and then we'll have the uh, Brain 3D JavaScript version. So this one is uh, relying on the server essentially too much fetching stuff of the server it's already available it's published but we want to improve on it quite a bit and for whatever reason it's only looking at the uh, hundred uh, slices instead of uh, about 250 something so apparently in our javascript yeah we have the hundred set in here yeah, we use uh, copilot for this with the uh, workspace handle. Uh, is the code only loading the first hundred images instead of loading the whole stack? There should be about 250 something in uh, each uh, folder in each uh, direction. Yes, currently through the first hundred images. I can turn it into 250. Hey, can we check the exact number of images automatically, programmatically, instead of uh, hard coding it? Fetch image count. And we have it set to 50. We'll probably set it to like 100 by default. So we have fetch image count in each orientation okay that's kind of important so we're doing it programmatically a question so when copilot is generating stuff it has this big a uh, apply apply in editor is i suspect we have to select the whole code hit the apply button we currently have 182 lines of code and here we should end up with about 200 or so. It's still applying changes. And no, it reduced it to 164. That doesn't make much sense. We're happy to test, but it's giving me all these errors. Um, so it's stuffed something up. So yeah, integration. Integration of code is a bit of a pain. Uh, with GitHub Copilot. How do you integrate properly? Oh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I want to change the default to like 100, so it's like in the middle of the slice. Uh, we want to do many other things as well. We want to actually, whenever we're showing slices, we want to actually see where they are um, in the volumetric data. The problem is this tool is already quite heavy. We probably don't want to add too much to it. Or shall we? It's not in production yet, so so we okay. So we have this uh, JavaScript. We would like to do a couple of things. Uh, first of all, we would like to programmatically check how many slices we have. So how many images we have in each uh, direction, axial, sagittal, and coronal. Uh, so we can actually flick through, cycle through all of them instead of just the first 100 also another change is that we want the current axial sagittal and coronal index to be 100 so we want to show the middle slice yeah because like github copilot is nice 
but I don't know how to integrate this thing, so it becomes kind of useless. If we just stay in, say, line, uh, you know, pass the code, and then tell it to apply changes, we're expecting more lines uh, of code, so it should be, we expect about 200. Okay, so you apply them at the end. Um, that's not cool. That's not cool because we need to refractor the whole thing. Yeah, we have uh, GitHub Copart actually generated the whole code. I think it's not moving. Um, yeah, that's not fun. Start something up, didn't you? Start something up.